are you coachable? Are you coachable? Now, the first, when I ask people this question before they hire me to coach them, their knee jerk reaction is always, well, sure, I'm coachable. But when you really think about it, are you willing to set your pride and your ego aside to get the truth about whatever work you're doing? And I'm going to use an example of, of a speech or a presentation because that's what I coach. When I put my own presentation together and I take it to my coach, I have to be willing for that person to say, what is your main point? I don't understand. Where's this story going? Well, think about that. You put your blood, your sweat, and your time into putting these, these stories and this presentation together. You think it's where it needs to be, and then somebody comes to you and says, I don't get it. What do you do in that moment? I can tell you what I did at first. I was like, well, you're stupid. You don't get it. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> But when you start getting more and more people telling you, hey, I don't get it, what's your point? That's when it's time to make the decision. Am I going to be coachable? Can I put my pride and ego aside? Can I say, all right, I got work to do. And let the coach tell me what needs to be fixed. This is true in sales. This is true in leadership. This is true in speaking and storytelling. The reason I'm able to do what I am today is because 17 years ago, I asked a young man to become my coach. His name is Darren LaCroix. At the time, he was the reigning world champion of public speaking. He gave me a simple test. I didn't know it at the time, but he told me to read this book. It's called Stand Up Comedy, the book. I didn't want to be a comic. I couldn't understand why I should be, uh, you know, read a book about comedy. But I read it because of a story he had told in his presentation. One of his mentors one day told him, Darren, uh, and Darren was an aspiring comic at the time. He said, Darren, I will give you stage time anytime I get an opportunity. But if you ever, ever turn me down, I'll never help you again. So when Darren told me to read this book about comedy, I, I remembered that story. And I said, sure, I'll read it. And I did. And I called him a week later. And I said, okay, what's next? I read the book. And he said, you did? I said, yeah, you told me to read the book. He said, Michael, you're the first person to ever read that book that I told to read it. He knew then that I was willing to take some chances to do things that weren't comfortable to be coachable. Now, I will admit during the years since then, I fought him on some things, but he was usually right. So I had to put the pride and ego aside. But because I was willing to do that, it opened doors and he spent time with me and he worked with me to become a better speaker and coach, gave me opportunities. And today I'm one of the coaches at his stage time university. And I have met so many world-class speakers that have become mentors. If I hadn't read that book in the beginning, if I hadn't been willing to be coachable and put my ego aside, I wouldn't be where I am today. The big question of the day, are you coachable? Are you willing to put aside your pride, your emotions, and let people give you honest feedback to say, hey, this is good, but this needs to be improved? 